But what's some advice that you would give people that are going through embouchure changes? First things I would say to anybody that's changing their embouchure is get a teacher that has been through embouchure changes. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, who actually knows like the struggle because initially it is going to be a struggle. I mean, it's going to be really difficult um, because you're essentially retraining, you know, all of these fine motor muscle skills that it takes, you know, around here to like play differently than they're used to. Right. So it takes time. I mean, the trumpet is physical. But that's part of it, you know. Yeah. So uh, that's the first thing. Um, and then just like kind of like practical applications, like one of the first things I had my student do is uh, it's just like you could take the tuning slide off and just buzz the first harmonic. Uh... And in you trying to buzz that first harmonic, you know, and like get it very resonant and open, um, your embouchure will kind of form through that process. Gotcha. And so that's all I had him do for like maybe the first week or two. Mm -hmm. I was like, literally just all I want you to do, you know, for five or 10 minutes a day is just play this one harmonic, which is super boring. But, you know, I mean, it, it gets you then. Then we move to the next harmonic and then put the tuning slide in and then we do just some long tone exercises because you got to rebuild, you know, the strength. Yeah, so definitely. That's what that's what we did. No, I remember when when I went through my armature change uh, in college. Oh, a fellow, a fellow. Yeah, man, it was it was rough during that semester where I was going through that that change. I still had to do lessons. I still had to be in the ensemble. I still had to, you know, play gigs here and there. So I felt like I had to play on two embouchures at once. Did you feel like you had to do that same thing? Man, you see, you on it, man. I love this. I love this conversation, man. And so, so basically, um, you have to make, I feel like you have to, there's going to be a crossroads point where you have to make a decision. Yeah. Are you going to fully commit to the new embouchure and just kind of like barrel through it and, and like, you know, suck ass for a while, you right. know, where you just like this struggle, or are you going to do this switching back and forth? Me personally, I don't feel like if you keep switching back and forth, you're never going to fully make the, the, the switch, mm, you know? It. So, I mean, I guess a more good advice for anybody who's considering an embouchure change is maybe you try to time it, you know, in a part like, okay, Maybe I just started the semester here at my school. Maybe it's not the best time. If there's a way you can get through, unless your instructor or whoever you're studying with is saying you got to change this now, if there's a way you can kind of get through your obligations and then maybe put it off until the summertime where you know you won't be as busy mm -hmm. and you won't have as many obligations where you have time to really rebuild your embouchure the right way, then it might be best to do that because... If you're doing it in the course of the semester, and especially, man, as a professional, man, forget it. I mean, yeah. it's really tough because you're like, well, this is how I make my living. I need to play gigs. And, you know, if I'm changing my embouchure, I can't really afford to take off, like, weeks or, um, you know, a month or something to get my embouchure back. So, I mean, it's really a, a tough situation to be in. But I feel like it's it's definitely doable. Um, and I feel like you just, the sooner you like make the full commitment to just switch it over, the better. Yeah. Even though it sucks in the like immediate, the now, the sooner you'll get to, you know, what you're trying to get to 